hi friends welcome to my new video in this video i am going to explain how to configure my cloud device you can store your data in the device and access by using a my cloud application you can access anywhere you can see the different applications of the device in the picture okay we are going to opening the box this is the my cloud device this is simply designed a white colored box like structure and the back is USB network and power ports ok we are now I'm going to explain the connections and this is the user manual and it is a charger adapter and the charger is 12 volt charger and the charger plug is around now I am going to connect the ports first plug the net cable and then plug power pin and uh, I am going to switch on now the device is turned on and blinking wait for some time to constant the LED going to the website opening the web browser and uh, type mycloud.com slash setup and press enter you can see that the website is loading and uh, now it is a home page click the guest get started now it is searching your device in the network simply agree the checkbox and press the continue button you can see that the admin user it is a default uh, setting are loaded you can simply click the next button you can it change later time I wish to click the uh, clicking the next button and uh, configure later time you can see the default settings now pressing the next button and finish the home page is here you can see that the total capacity of 2 TB western digital device and it is defaultly allocate some space You can see that there are four applications in this include iTunes. You can see that the folders, movies, photos, and music. And uh, the next uh, page is user. Definitely, it is a admin user. You can manage the user and uh, add a new user. There are options. Next is the shared folders. Public is the default uh, shared location. Next is applications that are set all uh, set earlier. Cloud access you can store the data and access cloudly. The backup options are there. Three backup options are there. You can use that. Then the top notification areas and settings help support and other options in the top login and reboot options it is major options now I'm going to the settings page the device profile is there you can change the device profile language and time you can change the format of language and time simply click the buttons and the network settings is here you can see that DHCP is already set defaultly it is a DHCP connection automatically set the IP to the device and uh, you can see that if you change the IP you click the static button and uh, press next button and uh, you can change the IP address of netmask gateway and DNS 
now I simply change the IP address last number 10 to 50 and uh, clicking the next button yes the IP is changed to 50 clicking the apply button and save the changes updating the device completed you can see that the IP address is changed to 50 you can simply login the login page is home page you can see that the network IP is changed to 192.168.1.50 the network surface service is changed to DHCP changed from DHCP to static you can check the device in the network yes there is my cloud application icon